everyone welcome to my channel again today we will discuss one problem from lead code that is distance bar codes and the problem number is 1054 so the problem statement is saying in a warehouse there is a row of barcodes where the ith barcode is barcodes i rearrange the barcodes so that no two adjacent barcodes are equal you may return any answer and it is guaranteed that an answer exists for simplicity what it is saying is you can think one barcode array is given to you where there are few numbers are present you have to give the output in such a way that no two adjacent numbers will be same so here if you see 111 and 222 are adjacent now in the output array you can see for one left and right there is no one for two also the same thing so for each and every number two adjacent numbers are not same so you have to reformat and give it as output here also the same thing 1112223 was there and in the output array no one is adjacent and what it is saying is it is guaranteed that an answer exists that means you will not get an input array like this where it is not possible to arrange them where two adjacent value will not be same because here four ones are there and only one two is there so we can't create this gap now let's check how to solve this problem solving the problem is one thing but before that we have to come up to a logic like uh, how we can create this array where each and every value will be separated so suppose this is my result array where I have to fill the values to make it like uh, separate what we can do is we have to first identify all the distinct values so all the distinct value one is one one is two and another one is three if we group by all of them and place it will it work let's check first we'll place one one then two then three so one one is over one two is over one one three is over then again we can do one two three one is done one two is done one three is done then we have one and one so we have to place them we have no other choice but here they both are adjacent so this methodology will not work maybe if all of them are similar in frequency then it can work or else it will not work next another approach we can try is one number will select and place all of its occurrence by giving one gap let's say first number is one we picked from this array then we can count like how many ones are there then we can place them with one space or gap one and one then the next number different number we can pick as two we can do the same thing two is present two times so we can place two here and then two here by giving one gap then next thing is three so that is also we can place like this yeah this is working but for each and every input will it work it will not work suppose think like instead of this two another one is present here so total number of one is five so in that case one you placed here then here then here then here but you can't place one here right because that will be out of bound so we have to place the one here and that time obviously they are adjacent then that will not work so we have to come out with some different solution but before that one thing I must tell you we have to keep track of the frequency of the numbers because that plays an important role here because our main aim is to place the numbers which are more in numbers so here our main concern is with one because that is present fourth time that can occur multiple time in the output array also so we have to first think about this part we have to place all the ones properly then it will be a big relief for us so to keep this in mind we will try a different approach now so now the approach we will apply is we will first create 
all the frequency of the individual numbers so here if you check one is present four times then two is present two times and three is present two times now what we can do is we will pick two numbers with highest frequency and second highest frequency or same frequency is also fine so obviously four means uh, one and two will choose because the frequency is four highest then the second highest is, is two you can pick three also then we will place the number one and two and obviously their frequency will be now reduced by one it will be three and it will be one now again we will apply the same thing so next time three will be picked and this two will be picked one and three so we'll place it here and we have to reduce the frequency by 1 and we have to reduce by 1 and it will become 2 again we have to do the same thing 1 and 2 we have to pick because 1 has 2 frequency 1 has 1 so it will become 1 and 2 and it will be reduced by 1 and it will become 0 so 2 is over now next time we have to pick 1 and 3 and both will be finished so 1 and 3 both will be done let's try this approach with a different array now so here if you check if we have to form the frequency map so it will be like this and here we will write our output so 1 is present 3 times 2 is present 3 times 3 is present 1 time and 4 is present 1 time now which two has highest frequency 1 and 2 so we will place 1 here then 2 and we have to reduce the frequency by 1 it will become 2 and it will become 2 then we have to pick again 2 that time also 1 and 2 will be picked only so it will become 1 and it will become 2 so we will reduce it by 1 and 1 next time 1 2 3 4 any 2 we can pick because all of them have same frequency so it will become 1 and 2 let's pick it and they are all done then next time we can pick 3 and 4 and all of them are done so here if you check all are placed properly no two adjacent values are same 1 2 1 2 1 2 3 4 so this is the correct way of doing this problem so what is our observation from here is the number which has more frequency we have to place them first then we have to think about the numbers which has less frequency because the number with more frequency can create problem because they are more in numbers we have to first place them properly then only we can maintain the gap now the question is how we will solve it in programmatically what kind of data structure will help us in this case those things we will see now the question is that how to solve this problem so here if you check uh, we got the frequency map so here the data structure choice will be obviously one hash map we can take where key and value both will be integer and integer where retrieve will be faster in o1 time we can retrieve the key value and that will be helpful now after creating the map next work is to get the keys with highest frequency and second highest frequency so here in this case it is 4 and 2 and after that what will happen is both of them will be reduced by 1 when I will use them so 4 will become 3 and 2 will become 1 then we have to put it back in the hash map and then again we have to find the highest and the second highest okay so if you use sorting here so every time you have hectic and it is time consuming so do we have any other data structure which can help us in this case where getting the highest one is very easy and it will take logarithmic time so obviously the choice will be a max heap where we will keep the elements and form the heap based on their frequency so if we form a heap out of this and which is based on the frequency then it will be like this right so 
4 will be in the top because it's a max heap then 2 and 2 as a frequency now obviously we can pick 1 and 2 with the highest and second highest frequency and we can place it here and next it will be reduced it will be 3 and 1 so we can get this one 1 will become 3 as a frequency and 3 will be 2 and 2 will be 1 then you can pick any two uh, with highest and the second highest that is 1 and 3 so 1 and 3 we can pick then both will both of them will be reduced 3 and 2 will be reduced to 2 and 1 and it will become like this now we can pick any one of them 1 and 3 we can pick maybe or 1 and 2 okay so 1 and 2 if we pick then both of them will be reduced and it will become 1 and obviously 2 work is done so it will become 1 and 3 only so we have to pick 1 and 3 and we are done now let's talk about the coding part so here the input barcode array is given we have to find the length first and then we have to define one same length of result array where we will store the result and return next we have to define one hash map of type integer integer where we have to keep track of all the frequencies against a number then it will be like uh, we have to iterate over the barcode array and then we have to put everything and next time if we find the number we have to increase the numbers frequency plus one then we have to define one max heap like priority queue where the map dot gate means the frequency if it is bigger then it will be the root of the max heap so that condition we are applying using this lambda function and then we have to add all the key set of this map to the max heap then we have to work on this max heap until the max heap size is zero so first thing what we can do is we can pull the value or the root we can take because that will have the highest frequency then in the resultant array in the index position 0 we can place that one and similar way we can pick another number with the second highest frequency and we can put in the resultant array beside the first number if you notice I have kept one condition here because suppose in the max heap in my last iteration only one value is present in the max heap when I will pull it it will become empty right so we will not maybe get the chance to pull the second number so that's why I kept this condition if that is the case and after pulling one number it will become empty then we will break so this part of the code will not be executed now after getting the value a and b and placing them we have to modify both the map and the max heap because the frequency will be reduced by 1 for a and b so we have to call the modify function in same loop also we can write the program but it will be a repetition so we have to find the number if the frequency is already 1 then you have to remove that because 1 minus 1 it will become 0 and there will be no use if it is uh, not one greater than one that time we have to reduce the frequency and put it back in the map and same thing what we have to do is we have to add it in the max heap also okay after updating the value now if you submit this solution it is working thanks for watching mm -hmm.